In this video, we'll learn how to join and trim paths in Illustrator. These are important tools because they help you to fix gaps or mistakes in your vector paths. To show some examples of when joining and trimming comes in handy, I've got a file open in Illustrator from this week's demo files. Here, I'd like to start tracing over this reference image. So I'll speed this up a little bit. But as I'm drawing, I'm maybe not being as careful as I should be lining up my anchor points. I'm also switching back and forth between the pen tool and other tools like the hand tool or the zoom tool. This makes it fairly easy to accidentally leave gaps in between my path or have the endpoints of a path overshoot and intersect with one another. So I can see some examples of what I'm talking about here. If we zoom in, you can see with this path over the torso, the two endpoints are overlapping with one another, but their endpoints are separate, so the shape isn't actually closed off. This shape next to it looks good, it's all closed off, but then this last one has some gaps in it. Now, luckily, we can fix all those issues really easily using the Join tool. So let's activate that from the toolbar by clicking and holding on the Shaper tool to expose the submenu. Then I'll click on Join tool. Let's focus on this shape first, where we have our two endpoints overshooting one another. I'll bring up my Layers panel and click the little caret next to my Shapes layer to show each of the individual elements in that layer. So I'll just turn off the visibility on that adjacent shape and the reference image so I can see more clearly. Now all I need to do with the Join tool is click and drag to draw over the excess paths that I'd like to trim off. And that's it. Once I let go, Illustrator will automatically remove the excess paths and join the path together with an anchor point right at that intersection. So if I switch to the direct selection tool, I can see I have just one anchor point and that gives me this closed off path. That'll make it easier to set a fill color or a pattern or do other more advanced edits later on. Let's move on and take a look at this other shape which has a gap in it. So I can also use the join tool to close off gaps and join open paths. So in this case, I have a larger path and then a little smaller path. And I can use the joint tool to either join both of those together or just get rid of the smaller one and close off the larger gap. So to close that gap with the join tool, we just click and drag along the trajectory of the path, covering over the gap. Now I can see clicking and dragging from the top, I wasn't able to close that upper gap, but clicking and dragging from the bottom, I was able to close the lower one. So there's sometimes a little bit more of a chance element in closing off gaps with the join tool. Sometimes it can actually be too small of a gap for Illustrator to figure out how to close it off successfully. So in that case, we could either backtrack and delete that smaller line segment and close off the larger gap. Or I could just select the open path and hit Command J or Control J on the keyboard to close it off entirely. Okay, so that's an overview of how to join and trim paths in Illustrator.